Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a B movie review, and I'll be having a look at the movie Red Water, starring Lou Diamond Phillips and uh, Christy Swanson. Now, this basically is a shark movie, in case you haven't guessed, and it's, it's kind of an unofficial telling of the uh, uh, 12 Days of Terror, I guess, to a certain degree. At least that's what I kind of think it's based on. And uh, the, the story here is ultimately about a kind of a, a rogue bull shark that sort of sort of swims inland ultimately and kind of sort of goes up uh, her, her river system. And of course, on the way, he's sort of eating various locals and it's up to sort of Lou Diamond Phillips um, and his kind of ex-wife, he's played by Christy Swanson, who, who sort of try and, to try and stop it ultimately. And, um, you know, it kind of follows the sort of traditional path of these sort of B-movie, low, low budget sort of B-movie uh, shark movies. I mean, the shark itself is for the most part kind of CGI creation. But I have to say, I mean, on, on the plus side, it kind of takes itself relatively seriously. You know, it's not kind of the, the, the sort of the campy sort of uh, shark movies that we sort of seem to sort of see kind of more of these more of these days. It does take itself a little bit seriously. But like I said, the, the effects, especially the CGI, is noticeably kind of like relatively cheap CGI. I'm guessing this is kind of some sort of TV movie, movie in America. And I have to say the the um, the cast as well. I honestly don't think Lou Diamond Phillips and uh, Chrissy Swanson are, are particularly charismatic sort of leading leading sort of actors ultimately. Unfortunately, it really does have a, a very sort of distinctive sort of TV feel and kind of a more of just a humdrum kind of uh, you know presentation to it and kind of you know so it makes it a very average movie. I mean, if you're a diehard shark movie fan, I think there's, there are worse shark films than this. Um, there's not a, it's not a particularly gory movie. There's not a, a lot of shark attacks in there. And in fact, you don't see the, the, the shark a hell of a lot, uh, but you kind of never do in these kind of low budget movies. And, it kind of, and sometimes it actually kind of a, it benefits the film sort of when you actually show you know, a little bit less sometimes, but it's okay. I mean, like I said, this is pretty much, in, if you're a B-movie fan, this is going to be a very much run of the mill, completely average uh, shark movie. There's certainly worse out here. I've just reviewed uh, Snow Shark, which is really bad. But this one I would say is going to be a 5 out of 10. It's not bad, but it's kind of a, just a, you know, it's a very forgettable ultimate. It's probably not something you're going to want to pop in your DVD player again. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Leave me a comment. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.